Marks Reviews and Tutorials video. We've got a solar hot water system here with a gas booster up on top. These guys have a little, what's, what's actually a flow valve here. This is the pump which pumps the water from the tank up onto the solar and back. And there's a flow valve there. So you can see the little red ball is supposed to float up and down. Now that's actually running now. As you can see, the red ball's not floating up and down, but that's not the big problem. The big problem is that it's leaking. If you see your solar leaking like that, get onto it. You need to do something straight away. Uh, about three years ago, this was leaking and it leaked down and onto the motor. I'm just about to take this cover off, we'll have a look. But it had corroded all the motor, destroyed the motor, took it out. And also the solar switch was in here, needed to be replaced as well. And it all happened because of the water that was leaking from here, got inside and corroded everything. So now they replaced that. When they replaced all the bits, they replaced this as well. And the same part is leaking again. And it's actually leaking from where the glass meets the brass here. It looks like it's coming from the thread. You could seal that if it was, it's not. It's actually leaking from here. That's been leaking for about a year. Just the tiniest little bit that was pretty much evaporating before it got down, but now it's gotten worse and uh, it's starting to leak. Now, because two of these have failed, I'm not going to go and spend the 40 or $50 to get another valve. That would be far easier just to then to screw that in. There's just a half inch BSP thread here and um, down here. The purpose for the valve, when they commissioned this and first put it up, you see the little um, screwdriver head there, they can close off a little ball valve at the top so you get the right amount of flow going through your solar hot water heater and they optimize it when they first put it in. This one is fully open uh, and the valve is broken anyway. So it's not serving any purpose. It's not doing anything. So this one's gonna come out and be replaced. Now, I'm not recommending you do this. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing on mine. So here we've got the panel off and you can see this leak has already started some corrosion coming down the front of the motor here. I'll, I'll put a link to, um, I've got a playlist with the other ones when I was playing with this, explaining the system, how they work, what it's all about. You can have a look at those, um, the playlist of those videos. But this whole motor was just totally corroded and it has stopped working, it had been taken out. So uh, yeah, you can see it started, so we do need to replace this. So the next step um, is of course to turn the water off. This is where the water, now if you don't understand the water and you can't absolutely guarantee you take it off, don't take on this job because this solar is pumping hot water through here. So not only it could be under pressure, but it could also be extremely hot. Um, you'll know by touching it where it's at. But if you're unsure, don't play because you can really hurt yourself um, and do a lot of damage here. But you can either turn the water off of the property, I'm gonna turn it off just here. This is where the source water comes in and um, goes up to the temperature differential valve here and uh, goes into the system here. So we'll turn him off and then we can take this off, just bypass that little flow valve and get rid of these leaks forever. Where you sort of start and you think, oh, well, if it doesn't work, I'll just put it back together again. I think I've reached the point of being committed here. This valve has absolutely come to pieces. As soon as I've started to undo this knob at the top, um, it's just <laughs> sheared off and come to pieces. It just cracked at the start, which meant she was done. Um, but now I'm just gonna spin it off. Um, now it's separated, we'll take that top one off and then take the bottom one off and hopefully make up a little joining point. But uh, yeah, there's no going back. There ain't gonna be no hot water in this house until we get this resolved. Yes, it goes without being said, but if you're gonna do this job, you're gonna need some big plumbing tools. This is a pair of Stilson's that actually, this is not tools from my dad, this is tools from my dad's dad that got handed down to me. I rarely use them, but boy, when you do, they're fantastic to, to get onto something like a big nut, like what's down under there. And uh, then a 250 mil shifter is um, being brilliant for undoing the the ones on the half inch copper. But we've got that loose now, so we'll undo this. And uh, yeah, then it's just a matter of replacing. Um, this fitting here took some getting apart. Thank goodness I had a 7 8 um, open end spanner. It just fit on over the bottom half of this, so I could then grab onto this with my shifter. The shifter and my uh, multi-grip pliers were both too thick. There was only a very small gap in there managed to get the pliers in and now we've managed to undo that so we can screw it off. But uh, yeah, so that, someone who's doing exactly the same job, it's got a, a 7 8 uh, is what's required. Or I had a 21 which didn't quite go on. So a 22 mil open end um, would probably go on there and open it up for you. All right, so now got them apart. There's the broken valve. There's a little one way valve in there that um, is going to be there to stop the water coming back down off the solar so we can leave that in place but we'll just clean up all that thread we'll start putting this together now just make sure that rubber 
o-ring is in place in there and we're going to put that it's um needs to screw on there and that will screw it onto that rubber o-ring that motor will clip back in place like that and uh, that goes there then we can put the fitting over the top okay so now to replace it we're going to use these fittings here they're a compression fitting that basically squish that bit of nylon up and in you see this little ball here will go up into there and create a seal and another one will go down into there and create a seal it sits on the pipe sits between and the whole thing's compressed down and that should give us a seal between the two it'll look like that with uh, two of those uh, on there and there i'll put it together like that so we'll then just do up both ends so we'll put it in and screw it up and see if she seals so there we go that's on and replaced and uh, we've got him all right now i had to reseat this down here to get the rubber gasket that i showed you sitting in properly but that's all um doing good now and not leaking uh this these fittings are the way to go um you can't use uh a, a fitting with a flared end because they're the wrong at either end if you want to swap that elbow over for one that takes a flared end and change that fitting to ones that takes a flared end absolutely you can use the flare but the way to go is the copper pipe with those little uh nylon collars on them and uh, that is uh there for good no one ain't gonna leak that one's not gonna break and crack like these stupid things did so there we go out with that and in with something way simpler and more robust yes i've lost the flow valve yes i've lost the um ability to shut the flow down a little bit although there is a variable speed here this one's running on full um you've got three speed settings on the top of this motor um but so therefore look listen once again i'm not telling you to do this just letting you know what i did because i had two of those valves fail and the first time it went it took out the solar controller and the motor the whole thing just got so corroded that um all of that had to be replaced so now that it's leaking again i've replaced it with something that's not going to fail